When I um, moved to kindergarten, one thing that really would have been helpful for me to think about and have someone help me think about, which is one thing I tried really hard to do in the book, is realize that many kindergartners have not been in a formal educational setting. So things like lining up and sitting in a circle are not skills that even in daycare or preschool that you really have to think about that much. But I was using words and sort of expecting things based on my prior teaching that they really had no idea why I cared so much about this thing called lining up. And so I try to help teachers understand really that children need some time and practice with some of those things. That children in older grades, they still need time and practice too, but a different kind and um, a little less practice. So that would have been really helpful to know. The other memory is more general, just reading aloud to kindergartners. I don't think anyone had ever told me what a joy that was and they love books in a very interactive and visceral way and I remember in particular reading Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus by Mo Willems to my group and it's a book where the pigeon is really talking to the reader trying to get permission from the reader to drive this bus and so I encourage the children to deny him permission as part of the story and I remember I really felt like they thought that they had control over this pigeon's life and they really enjoyed saying no to him but in a fun way and just that interactive reading aloud books with them was something every day, no matter how the rest of the day had gone, I loved reading aloud. And I would say not to them in kindergarten, but with them, because it really was an experience that we shared. So it's great kindergarten memories.